Hey guys, Garrett here. So today I'll be going over arrow coating versus arrow wraps. And what I have here are a few arrows uh, that show what I'm shooting this year. So uh, I'm also going to take this one, which is missing a vein because I just recorded this video, but I didn't hit record. So <laughs> I have to do it again. But um, so this is going to be my arrow review of uh, Black Willow coatings versus the arrow wraps that I'm using this year. And so I'm using six inch arrow wraps that I'm cutting into three inches to save me some weight and to double up on my money on arrow wraps which I've done a video on and I just think it's smart and economical and you're still getting high vis on the back of your arrow but you're not getting all the weight of a six inch uh, wrap. So a six inch wrap is about one, um, you know, the ones that I'm buying, they come in at about 10 and a half grains. So, um, you know, on, on average, it's about 1.75 grains per inch. So give or take, you're somewhere in there. Um, but what I have here is I have my actual hunting arrow that I've hunted um, all year with and it's been an absolute killer setup. I absolutely love it But I'm always looking to get that little slight edge um, or that little extra benefit out of my arrows And so when Riley offered to make me up a batch for a review um, I, I jumped on the opportunity I worked with them to design these arrows the colors the lettering the logo and I feel like he knocked it out of the park And I, would, I just want to say thanks to Riley for hooking me up with these arrows and uh, I, I, I'm really excited to do this review so um, what, I'm, what I have here is I'm going to compare these things in all the areas that I had questions on when I first got approached uh, about trying these arrow coatings out. And I want to know how, how much did the coating weigh? How durable was it? Does it actually really stand out better? And, and how, is it, how easy is it to fletch or refletch? Um, and how does the, you know, the, the veins mate to the arrows and all that stuff? These are all questions I immediately thought of as soon as I saw the arrow coatings. Well, I've tested all that stuff out. I did it on camera here a second ago, like I said, and, I, and I'm and i gonna have to do it again. But I have my uh, my, my vein uh, defletcher here. So what I wanted to do on camera was actually um, scrape off a vein here and, and show you guys, and I'm gonna try and do it just like a regular one. I'm not gonna try and deliberately ruin the coating here um, like I did on the first one. There we go. And uh, I just took off some of the coating with the vein here. But whatever glue he's using is really, it's a really strong adhesive with most of the coating still intact. So, so I'll show you that there. Um, that's what it looks like. So I think you probably could refletch that um, if you did have a vein fall off. Granted, I'm, I'm peeling these healthy veins off. Yeah, so the adhesive is, is just just too strong for the coating here, but I'm, I'm also being really mean with it with a with a knife But um, so that's to me. That's really impressive and I tried pulling off one of his veins earlier um, Just to see how and I can't even do it. Maybe I need to work on my grip strength a little bit, but Yeah, I can't do it and just to compare that versus my arrows to be to, to be apples to apples. I Can't do that to mine either but, uh, oh, oh, I got, I got that one to peel off. Um, so, yeah, that one must not have made it very well. Oh, there goes another one. So it's a little bit stronger than the glue that I'm using. And I'm using the NPV, and it pulled off the wrap with it. So um, the wrap is breaking is what's going on, as you can see there. Um, I really hope you can see that. Maybe I'll get a zoom in on that. But, so is it more durable than my wraps and what I'm currently using? 100% absolutely yes, it is more durable. You can see that I have to, when, it, when, I, when I lose a vein or I have a vein peel off or something, I have to replace the wrap and I have to junk these two good veins that are left. Um, so now I have to refletch that whole arrow and put a whole new wrap on there. With, uh, with this arrow, if I'm delicate enough and I take my time and I'm not just like I just did on camera, just smashing the blade into the veins and trying to get it off real quick. I'm sure you could keep more of the coating on there and you don't have to refletch your other veins. So you are actually saving a little bit of money there in wraps and reveining good veins, refletching good veins. But um, I really do feel like there's, yeah, I mean, he's got a good fletch job on here. So, uh, you know, the durability is, is improved over my wraps are because the wraps were peeling off with my veins. Um, his fletch job's good. He puts a little bit more of a helical than I do on mine. Uh, which I don't mind. I mean, him and I are really similar on our fletch jobs. Um, the only thing I don't see on his fletch jobs that I personally like to do is tipping and tailing, putting a little bit of glue on the front and the back, which I think helps when you're sliding that arrow through or out of a target. And uh, that just helps make prevent it from peeling from the front or the back. 
Um, that's being pretty nitpicky, but I do feel like um, that's something that I'd like to see. And if you like to do that, you can just do that at home real quick. That's just, and granted, his, his bond adhesive is so strong, you might, you might not need it, but um, really impressive on the durability. So let's give some actual weights. So what does this weigh versus my actual hunting arrow? So this is just over one grain per inch worth of visibility. There's, there's seven and a half inches worth of solid um, coating on this thing, right? So a six inch vein is about 10 and a half grains. So you're, you're, you're well over one grain per inch. So you're quite a bit lighter on this. So even though, and I'm, and I'm, Comparing this versus that, even though I have an inch and a half extra high visibility on this arrow, I'm actually lighter. Um, so my FOC is going to be improved with this arrow over this arrow. Now let's let's compare apples and oranges here. So I have a three inch wrap versus a seven and a half inch coating, and this arrow comes in at 3.25 or 13.25 percent FOC. This arrow, the way it's set up, comes in at 13.10 percent FOC. So now we're trying to, to edge out the coating with a lighter, with a lighter, smaller wrap, and we're only doing it by 15%. And that's a three inch, that's a six inch wrap cut in half. So that's three inches. Um, so really impressive here. I'm, the only downside overall that I'm seeing is that you're going to be paying more off the, uh, off the front end to coat your arrows. Now, like I said, for, for refletching and buying more wraps once you lose a vein like I just did, I pulled one, I pulled a couple off there. Um, are you cheaper then? Then this is probably going to win. So if you refletch your own arrows, you revein your own arrows, whatever you want to call it, um, you know, and, and you and you use wraps, this actually might save you money in the long run if you don't lose and break arrows all the time. So now the high visibilities, um, I shot these in low light. I even shot these at 50, 60 yards. They're just as accurate as my arrows. Um, they both come in at the same way. I cut these were cut a, a one eighth inch short compared to these. So these are 27 and three quarters. These are one eighth short of that. So uh, just they're within one grain of each other because these these have a little bit more weight to the coating than these do, uh, which I thought was really cool. So just by cutting these in uh, one eighth inch shorter, I got them pretty much within a grain of each other. So I can shoot both of these arrows and have them shoot identical. I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, low light, high visibility. I feel like the coating does edge out the wraps. Um, even if you use a six inch wrap, I still feel like the, the coating does edge them out. Um, and that's just, you know, come, you know, throwing, throwing them into brush and, and, and low light conditions and then just seeing which one sticks out more. That's all I did there. So overall, I'm going to give Riley a, you know, an on point approved certification, uh, my, my ceiling stamp of, of, of approval, all the lettering, my logo, the the wraps, um, the, the glue spilling out of the uh, of, of the side of the veins, all of it's really good, really detail oriented, um, really clean. Uh, it's just really really high quality, and, and the attention to details rather rather impressive. You know, um, I like to consider myself when it comes to arrows rather detailed, and, and this guy um, definitely takes his time and does a good job on his products. So, if you guys want to uh, to coach your arrows and use the same stuff that I'm using for coating. I feel like Black Willow Coatings um, definitely does a good job. I'll put his contact information up in the, in the description box below. Um, give, him, give him a call, he's on Instagram. He's still a small guy starting off his business, but I feel like he's doing, you know, he's onto something here, he's doing a good product. And after seeing the difference between me pulling off my veins off my arrow and me not pulling off a vein off of his arrow, <laughs> I might be switching to arrow coatings. Uh, but anyways, guys, so that's this week's video. I hope you guys enjoy. If you have any questions, give me a, you know, give me a message. Give me a thumbs up if I earned it. Give me a thumbs down if I didn't. But let me know why. Let me know how I can prove. And I'll see you on the next ones, guys. Bye.